Alright, go let's go for it. Welcome to a new episode of Bogan's Guide to One. I'm Sampy. And I'm Lurchy. There you go. Today we are going to my preferred, if I could live anywhere on the planet, mate. Tasmania. Love. Yeah, there you go. Love Tasmania. We have to grow another right. head, champ. <laughs> hey. uh, we are going to try the Brim Creek Savion Blanc. Now, uh, yeah, this looks like it's won a trophy, actually. Doesn't I'm excited. It's look, we, on our, uh, on me and Deb's first trip to Tasmania, we went to uh, this great little uh, seafood restaurant in. Um, in Hobart, right on the uh, in the in the harbour there, I can't remember yeah. what it was called. She ordered this because right. I don't normally order the red, but she chose uh, this uh, Brim Creek. Now, I, I, when I go to the restaurant, I'll try something out and not uh, remember the remember it. And we, we tried this once, but this always stuck with Deb. This Brim Creek, and, uh, and if the Warrigal says it's all right. It's got to be all right. Then I'm, yeah, I'm getting a bit of a sniffy thing about it already. It's so much so. We've been in Tasmania uh, two or three times since, and uh, the last time we were there, we went out of our way to go visit the, uh, the cellar door for this place, which actually was more like a restaurant. I'm not really sure what the setup there is all about, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's a bit of a family favourite, this one. So it's a 2010 Sauv Blanc. All right. Well, the first thing is, it's not from Marlborough. Not from Marlborough. And everything Sauv Blanc we get at the moment is from Marlborough, because Marlborough is Sauv Blanc heavy. Yeah. Tasmania, though, Tasmania is pretty much on that same sort of, uh, what do you call it, latitude or longitude? I can't remember yeah. which one's what, but it's sort of latitude. Runs, latitude. Yeah. Runs along the same sort of parallels. So you've got a very zone. cool climate. So they're pretty much the same people except uh, different soil. So Pinots, Sav Blancs, you're looking for that cooler climate. Yeah, absolutely. Cap Savs and Suffer down there. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, what do you get from the colour there? Well, it's nice and bright. I'll tell you what, it's a nice, yeah. Straw sort of colour there, bright sort of uh, nice golden yellow. Now, do you get legs from a white wine, Sam? Well, you should do, shouldn't you? You should, shouldn't you? Oh, I would think so. Now, this obviously comes straight out of the fridge, so it's a little bit cool. And I don't know this for a fact. Oh, look, out of the sure fridge. Can't really tell, can you? If it's cool, I'm, I'm guessing it's sort of less. I'm guessing with this, you're going to get a lot from the nose. Let's try it. <sighs> Hello. Like. This is nice, guys. This is a. Uh, lychee, kiwi fruit. Well, I was going to. You know what? I was going to say lychee, but I've. Lurchy likes lychee. <laughs> Good evening. And I don't, look, I'm, I've got to be honest here, I don't even know what lychee smells like, but that just that word popped into my head uh, from having a smell. Next time you go to a Chinese restaurant, get some lychees and ice cream, mate. Do, do yourself a favour. And probably have another bottle of this while you're at it. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, so we've established the smells really good. Let's have a crack. Yeah. Oh. How full body is that? That's. It's almost like oil. That. Oh, look at oh, that uh, acidic aftertaste. That goes on for ages. That is magnificent. That's fantastic, isn't it? I'll tell you what Lemony. Come on, come on, I'm just going to have a look at that, mate. Yeah, no, go for it. It's got some really, uh, we you know, talk about the tannic structure and whatnot, and it's sort of not something you, well, I don't think you'd normally generally associate with whites, but uh, there is some tannic structure there, and it's so well built, isn't it? This, this, is, this is really it's a very well nice balanced, one. and it's just that would actually exceed probably half of the Marlborough oh, Sad Blancs that I've had. This is all over, I think. I don't think I've had one um, that tastes better than that. That's uh, well, that's so big. It's Warrigal. It's Warrigal. It's Warrigal High Five Special. Got it this time. All right, oh, so, uh, Warrigal. Love ya. Now, right now, <laughs> I'm just about to ask you how much you think it's worth. I've got an idea, I don't know for a fact. Look, mate, that is idea. so good. Yeah. I'd pay up to 100 bucks for it. <laughs> it's, it's, it really is that sort of quality. It's, it's, it's really good. I'm pretty sure, once again, we know the Oracle, she doesn't like spending no. too much on the The mind, Oracle so. wouldn't have spent any more than $17.69. No, no, she's not that tight, but I reckon this oh. might have been... Um, we might have even brought this back from the winery, to be perfectly honest. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. 
I'm thinking around the $25 to $30 mark for this. I'm not exactly sure, but well, if you I, can I, get I would it, not be surprised. I'll tell you what, if you can get it for that, buy a case. I'll buy a case. I'll buy a case. I'll buy lots of cases. It's, I'll uh, buy a case and I just drink that all the time. That is oh, lovely. Lovely stuff. And the thing that gets me, it's a trophy in it. It's none of this bronze medal crap. Yep. Bronze medal is like, you get a bronze medal for a wine turning up. You get a bronze medal for putting it in a bottle. Yep. Okay, you've passed that test. Yep. Trophy, they don't come around too often. That yep. is beautiful. Now we didn't talk about the alcohol level, mate. What no, I'm not worried about it, mate. The taste... It doesn't even matter. No, it doesn't. The, the taste is superb. I haven't had a pump because it's actually an odd number. It's an odd number. It's an odd number. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not 17 and it's not 10. No. So, um, it's not that high, I'd imagine. I, I, I think it's probably about 12 and a half, 13. It is 12.9. Oh! I've never come across a point nine before. A point nine? Well, they know what they're doing there, don't they? They do. So, uh, out of 10, mate, what are you going to give that? I'm going to give that a 9. I'm giving it an 8.5. Uh, I'm giving it a 9, mate. I'm yeah. going to override you there. Well, that's, I think most, I think Sad Blanc, I think the previous one we had on Sad Blanc, it does have um, that uh, dry sort of aftertaste. That wants to go. I think I'll you pull it off and pour another one, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, let's let's wrap that up. We uh, highly recommend this Brim Creek, no matter what it costs. It's uh, a really really good drop. So go to Tasmania, track it down, have a crack. Buy everything they've got. <laughs> do it. Do it. Till next time. This has been Bogan's Guide to Wine. Catch you later. See ya.